Folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next hour or so discussing what we feel is a key component in not only your portfolio of carriers, but portfolio of products and a key means of marketing throughout the year in our world. I thank you for joining us today. Uh, today's session will be recorded. The link to that recording will be made available on our website at premiersmi.com, on our YouTube channel, and your agent success manager with in Premier will be able to access it as well. Uh, there will be a follow-up that is sent out to you that will contain the link too. We want to make certain that we cover all your questions that you have. We feel that we do a pretty thorough job of that during the course of the presentation, but we'll check and make certain that all of your uh, need for information is covered before uh, we exit today's webinar. You will notice in the software package, there is a section for questions in chat. That's where you will put your questions is in the question box. And we'll make certain that, that as I mentioned, we'll follow up on those as well. I wanna start with a bit of a level set for those of you who may not be familiar with Premier Marketing to one degree or another. We are a national marketing organization founded in 1968. That's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country. We're licensed in all 50 states, act as an insurance wholesaler through independent insurance agents, such as yourself, offering contracts at the highest possible commission levels and recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. We do so for, through a full portfolio of products, including the base Medicare products, the Medicare Advantage, MedSup, and standalone prescription drug plans. But we also have a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, including final expense life insurance and free need plans, and long and short-term care programs, disability income plans, and ancillary benefits such as dental, vision, hearing, critical illness, cancer plans, and hospital indemnity, accident, and telehealth programs as well. The Medicare Advantage portfolio includes the national carriers and many of the strong regionals that make a difference for you in your market. Same philosophy carries over into the prescription drug plans, where in most cases, these are part of the contract you have with, excuse me, with your Medicare Advantage contract, except for the Mutual of Omaha contract, which is a separate contract from any of your offerings. And Clever RX is actually a discount program, not a governmental. PDP program. Medicare supplements, large portfolio products, uh, an important part of the spectrum of covering the Medicare beneficiaries, kind of yin to yang versus what we're discussing today. Um, but we want to make certain that you not only have access to this portfolio, but the support programs that are put into place to help you be successful in this space. When we look at the ancillary products and each of the, in the categories that we discuss, those leaders in each of those areas are available to you through our organization to not only cover the needs of your prospects and clients above whatever other coverage they may have, but also to make certain that you have another way to market and another revenue stream for you and your agency. When we discuss the Medicare market itself, we look at a burgeoning market with the aging of the baby boomers, the silver tsunami, one every 10 seconds, 10,000 plus a day. And if we look at things just on a age basis of 65, however, we are seeing that that's not entirely an accurate number considering many people are working past the age of 65 and not accessing all of their Medicare benefits when first eligible. But it also doesn't take into account the percentage of the folks that are on Medicare because of medical disability. And those folks under age of 65 or 15 to 17% of the market and a great market for today's topic of working with dual beneficiaries, particularly with Aetna. And we do that simply because the population dictates it for one reason, two thirds of the population has three plus chronic conditions and many have challenges with their income and assets, which means we have to have a full portfolio of products to help them and guide them through the different choices that they have because they don't have to do anything. They can even decline part B if they want to. Most thankfully do not. Some will self-insure for the shortfall financially of just traditional Medicare coverage. Some may add the part D for their prescription drug costs to help with them. Some may enter into that standardized modernized med sup. Some will enter into a Medicare Advantage plan where those benefits are bundled together. And we go into the subset 
of the special needs programs that are part of this category. We're seeing that when people first enter into Medicare, it's a pretty even split between Medicare and MedSUPS. And there is still a portion of the folks that are uh, in original Medicare, but this might include folks that are accessing VA benefits, retiree benefits, union benefits, or a dual beneficiary, which is very pertinent to our conversation today. And then of course, the folks that have chosen to not make a decision or chosen to have a decision that is a decision that is a decision, so to speak, in the fact that they're aware of the consequences or they may not, and they may well be a candidate for today's programs. We also want to make certain that folks realize that over the last couple of years, we're seeing a little bit of a change into the distribution where more and more people are entering into Medicare Advantage plans for one reason or another. We also wanna make certain that we're able to properly communicate with the people that we are visiting. And a lot of folks in the dual arena tend to be lower educated, not that folks with an MBA understands acronyms all across the board either, but this guide will help you in deciphering that message that they have received, but also remind us to not use acronyms during our presentation as much as possible because we want to make certain that the communication is there with our prospects and clients. Election periods are a big thing within our world, obviously. We've got the standard election periods, the latest of which is to expire in eight days or eight, nine days with the OEP. We can't really market that anyway, but we have a ton of other SEPs that are available to us, um, both kind of standardized, where you see a lot of them deal with income and assets type of criteria, but also you have a number of uh, special, special election periods brought about by weather and other circumstances. And so we realize that the, there, the majority of people on Medicare will qualify for a special election period. It's a question of if it's the best thing for them to do. And we want to make certain that they realize the differences between the programs where Kaiser Family Foundation tells us that no matter what the overall coverage is, that the beneficiaries have out there, the vast majority of them do not examine their coverages year and year. And that's where our duty as independent agents lies within reaching out to this population, because regardless of what they are doing or not doing, a big part of it can have a big effect on their wallet. And they're not using the government sites to do it. Not even the information that's easily accessible online that helps describe it. We got to realize too, you got to have access to the internet to use that. But we want to make certain that regardless of how we need to deliver the information they have, that it comes to them in a manner in which they are comfortable receiving that information. And different subsets of the Medicare market will dictate how that is done. Um, we have to look at inpatient, uh, or pardon me, in-person type of delivery and couple that with virtual uh, consummation of the deal, so to speak, or getting the information out vice versa. However, that needs to be done. We're working with a population that is much more comfortable in receiving that information in that fashion. And we want to make certain that we take care of them in that fashion as well. That also means we want to make certain we have partners who have the technology to deliver upon that uh, system. And thankfully, we are speaking with one today. We also have systems within Premier Marketing that can help you in that regard as well. So at this time, you're finally going to reach the point where we have the folks with Aetna with us today. I want to thank Russ and Jason for coming on the line with us to give us further detail about uh, the DSNP programs they have available across the country. And at this point in time, Russ, we're going to see if that actually happens, what I told you would, where I'm turning the control over to you. you should... Okay, great. Thank you, John, for having us today. So again, I'm Russ Barber, one of our national sales directors for the DSNIP product. Um, and so we're just thrilled to be here with you today to spend some time talking about um, putting some, some tools in your box to help you grow your income with DSNIP, um, as well as some of our product offerings. Before I um, move along though, I want to give my counterpart who's with, with me today here, Jason, an opportunity to introduce himself. And before we get started, so Jason and I will kind of be uh, working together today to present information and, and the points as we move along. So Jason, over to you. 
Thanks, Russ. So uh, good morning or afternoon, depending where you are today. Um, my name is Jason Bronston. I am, along with Russ, the National Sales Director for Aetna's DSNIP plan. Um, have been in the Medicare space now for about 20 years, so have been through every single AEP that has come and gone. Um, so have definitely some experience with Medicare and as we kind of walk through this deck, if questions pop up, please again, put them in the chat and we will get to as many as we can today. And if we can't get to them all, we will uh, send responses that can go out with this deck when it's sent out by John. So thanks Russ. Perfect, okay. And then just to kind of give a little bit about my background, why I think it's important. I, at one point in my career, have been in it for gosh, kind of sneaking up on 20 some years here. I won't say how many, but yeah. Get, up there, right? And so I was a broker in your shoes at one point, out on the out there building uh, a book of business, and then a, then a sales representative for a carrier, then a sales manager, then a market director, and then now a national director. And so I just say all that to 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 say to you that I've walked a mile in your shoes, and I understand how challenging it is to 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 build and grow a business and, and keep everything moving forward. And so I just want to say at the outset, I I recognize and appreciate your efforts and all that you do to go out and make a difference in people's lives every day, help them navigate this thing we call Medicare and, and specifically we're gonna talk about today is DSIP. There's a lot of moving parts and it can be somewhat confusing to folks to be able to sort through this and, and know what to do. So to have yourself as a trusted advisor, um, to me is just, it's a, it's a phenomenal uh, benefit to, to the members and their families as they sort of try to work through all of this. So. Today, we hope to give you some tools to help you do, do that important and com sometimes complex job of, of, of taking great care of folks, right? And so as we get started, I just think it's important to call out the opportunity that's before us, right? There's 4.2 million dual eligibles that were covered um, in 2021. Um, and, and from Atna's point of view, we're offering our program and uh, we're offering it in 27 different states, right? And so um, we've gone, we've grown exponentially over the last few years. When I joined the organization, we were in three states and we're now in 27 and plan to expand into some more. And so what that means is just a tremendous opportunity out there um, for those people that, that that is a fit for. We have lots and lots of folks for you to, to go and, and, and prospect with and talk with about this. And, and here's the important piece of this slide in my mind. There's 9 million folks out there that are dual eligible um, qualified, they're not currently enrolled in a DSNIP. So maybe they're out there and they have Medicare A and B, they have uh, a Medicaid card and they have a Part D and they say to themselves, well, I'm good, I've got everything covered, um, not realizing they're leaving thousands of dollars worth of excellent benefits on the table that they're entitled to that they might, might not be aware of. So our job is to go out and find and educate those 9 million people um, that are eligible that are not currently enrolled in DSNIP, or maybe they're enrolled in another kind of plan. Maybe they're enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan, but again, they're leaving thousands of dollars worth of those extra benefits on the table when we think about things like dental and vision and hearing and transportation and over-the-counter and food cards and, and utility cards and on and on. There's just lots of really great benefits that people are entitled to because they qualify that they may not be aware of. So it's a tremendous opportunity in marketplace for us to go out and really think about building a, a, a niche business there or, or uh, maybe even taking a portion of our business plan and really focusing on this population. It's, it's a tremendous way to, to, to not only take care of some folks, but make some, you know, make some dollars for our family and for our own income throughout the year, knowing that folks have the ability through the SEPs that John mentioned earlier to, to be able to enroll um, in, in these plans. So it gives us something to sort of sell you around. Well, let's talk about some of the tools that Aetna offers that allows you to do that. Um, we've got a, a, a piece here called Benefits Checkup, right? Um, and, and so what I wanna say about this is this is, a, this is a tool that we utilize to help get ourselves in front of folks that might be DSNIP eligible and form a relationship up front, bringing something additive to their life before we ask to educate or enroll them in a policy, right? So being able to help them with things like prescriptions, energy bills, property taxes, and a bunch of other things 
Now, this isn't something that Aetna just does on its own that we just put together. We've worked closely with the um, National Council on Aging, and this is their tool in their database. We do help do some sponsorship with them, but this is their tool that they've, they've put together. It's a national tool. It's available to, for anyone to use. You don't have to be uh, even being considered for an Aetna product if, if, if it's a uh, just somebody that, that you've encountered in your practice that you're helping along the way and you wanna be able to help um, them by utilizing the benefits checkup tool to find out what resources they might be um, eligible for uh, in their area. And, and that slide kind of tells the, the, the story, doesn't it? Especially as we think about inflation and everything that's going on right now, things are just getting more and more and more expensive. Um, and, and so there's lots of folks out there that have trouble making ends meet. And I know if you're like me, I've been in the line at the drugstore and heard people saying, oh my gosh, the cost of that medicine is just not affordable. I'm, I've got to choose between groceries and medicine and I just can't pay for that prescription. And, and that's, that's sort of heartbreaking to me that, that a senior um, is having to make those tough kind of choices. So if we've got something that we can do to help people um, bridge that gap. It's a wonderful tool to have in your box. So the benefits checkup tool has been around since, the, the National Council on Aging has been around since 1950. Um, and they serve as a national voice for, you know, um, older Americans, right? And they've done things, they've developed longstanding community programs, such as Meals on Wheels and several others that you've probably heard of. But I do want to call that out right up front that that this is a free service that's offered in conjunction with National Council on Aging. And, and there's over 2,500 federal and state private programs in, inside this, this tool for your use, right? And, and so what is it that you really get help with? Well, all these things you see on the page, right? And it's a vast list, isn't it? And those are all important things that when people are trying to figure out how to pay for those kind of things, on a fixed income, many of them working years ago at a smaller wage, and so their social security checks aren't that large, right? And so to have to think about paying for all these things uh, is difficult. So to have a program where we can go in, put in a little bit of information, and find out um, in their particular area, in their particular zip code, the programs that can help them pay for all these things, right? Um, food assistance, utility assistance, housing, all these you see here on the screen. It's tremendous, tremendous help to the people and a great way to build rapport and relationships with um, with our with with the potential member, right? Now I want to get I want to dispel a myth right up front that we sometimes hear. The question is, Russ, if we put the information in here of our, of our prospect, is, is that something that Aetna has access to later? Can they can they pull that down and and have access to the, the list of folks that I put in here? And the answer is absolutely not. This is a, um, it's a confidential private system. We have no access to the data on the back end. And so there's no need to worry about, oh, if I put this in, then a carrier is gonna have access to my, my client's information. Not the case, um, would not be compliant, would not be legal, that's not something that's done. So I, I want you to know that when you use this tool, you're doing it with confidentiality and. And, and peace of mind knowing that no one is pulling your client information um, on the back end from this from this uh, tool, okay? So I wanna just point out, um, here's an example of, of an individual that was helped with benefits checkup, right? Here's John, single guy, he's a retired veteran with an income of 13.5 and he rents an apartment, takes several medications. Do you think about trying to make ends meet? For a year with thirteen thousand five hundred dollars, I don't know how John does it. Right? It's a, it's, it'd be a challenge for any of us, I think. Right? And so, um, by utilizing the benefits checkup program, he's able to find out about nutrition assistance. You know, uh, formerly known as food stamps. Right? Tax credits, utility help program, home care services, prescription help, transportation. Lots of good stuff that John was able to put to use um, by um, by utilizing the benefits checkup tool. Here's another quick example, Elizabeth. She's a married woman together with her husband. They have a combined income of 40,000. They own their home. She takes only a few medications, but she's unable to work. And so 
she may not qualify for the food stamps and some of those other programs, but there's there's a lot of other things that she would she might qualify for property tax relief, home care assistance, utility help programs, right? So we don't want to always just assume, well, this is for the poorest of the poor. There, there there are other people sort of in between, right? What we might consider at or below the poverty level versus they might make a few dollars, but still it's tough to make ends meet um, on even 40k a year. For two people, right? So it's one of these tools that if you think it might be a benefit to somebody that you're sitting down with, whether it's an MAPD client, whether it's maybe even a med sub client, maybe 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 a decent client, it's a great tool and a great service additive to what you do that you can you can offer. And so, how do you complete a screening? Well, you just go to this link that you see on the page, and again, you're going to have access to all these slides after the the. The, the presentation, but if you've got those cameras and you want to take a picture of it and be able to get right in there, um, you can do that as well. But this link you see in the middle of the screen will take you to the benefits checkup tool. It'll have you uh, enter a zip code and get you started. Now it's going to be able to do three things for you. You can do a quick express screening. This is great for table events when you're out in the community and you're, and you're um, doing one of those table events and maybe folks are stopping by and you want to add do a quick additive service to generate a relationship. You'll be able to put some quick information in. It takes five minutes to complete, and you'll be able to tell them about all these pro programs that they're entitled to in a particular area. Not only will you be able to tell them about it, you'll be able to give them the contact information, the phone numbers, the process for applying, the address of where the program is located, all this good stuff that allows them to really take, take that and run with it. Um, that also, um, there's a comprehensive screening for those folks, maybe in your own book of business, you want to sit down with some folks to be uh, do additive uh, work to the relationship and maybe be able to pivot over in the future and sell some of those over other wonderful products that John mentioned that you have available um, as you do the comprehensive screening and then cover some needs, right? It takes 20 to 30 minutes to complete, but it's very comprehensive and provides a lot of great information. We also have the ability for you to print off the questionnaire in the good old paper and pencil format. We don't recommend that. It's kind of cumbersome. But if you if you want to do it that way, you could. Say you were going to some place that you didn't have good in, internet access to. I know some of us work in rural areas, and sometimes we go out in the sticks, as I call it. And so we might want a way to, to do the printed questionnaire as well. And then we go back later and, and fill out the responses. So you've got different ways to collect and enter the information. Um, but at the end of the day, um, these are the kind of things that folks need to gather up for you when they do the comprehensive screening, right? These are the kind of things that are really going to help you drill down and be able to find all the different um, items that are going to go on this personalized report for them, right? So it's an incredibly additive uh, tool for your box. It's a great way to get your foot in the door with senior housing facilities, senior centers, Places that are a little bit reluctant to let a sales agent, quote unquote, in the door to sell insurance, they're a lot more uh, liable to let you come on in if you say, well, I'm providing a service called Benefits Checkup. And I'm going to talk about another tool in a few minutes called Medicare Marketing Studio, where you can go and even get a flyer that you can populate with your contact information that explains this program and explains the benefits of it. So that's a great way to open a door for a center of influence to be able to get in and and do some things. Um, I've been going on here for a few minutes. Jason, I'd like to toss it over to you. What are your thoughts about the benefits checkup tool and how you see it working um, to, for, for brokers benefits to, to help build their book of business? Yeah, great, thanks, Russ. And, and again, I think the biggest takeaway, and we get this in all of our presentations, again, this is for any of your current uh, clients or prospects. They do not have to be Aetna members. This is a, an incredible retention tool for you to uh, do for your current clients to show them, again, all of these uh, different avenues that they may be uh, eligible to receive benefits on. And then to Russ's point, uh, again, it's also a great way to get into certain centers of influence where um, they don't want just someone to come in to sell someone. They want them to show them things that, uh, again, all of their um, clients would be eligible for. So. This is available to any contracted agent with Aetna. So again, they don't have to be Aetna clients. You just have to be an Aetna contracted agent. Thanks, Russ. 
Yeah, and you'll find access to this tool um, in, in a number of different places. You can find it on this link that you see here on the screen that will be in the slides. You can find it through our Think Agent tool, which I'm going to speak, speak about in a moment. And you can also find it on our Producer World site, where, where, where producers go to get everything uh, Aetna related, everything from you know, all kinds of information, training, enrollment, track your book of business, all that good stuff is in our Producer World site with some links on there. So there's a number of places where you can uh, find this, but I would take that address there at the top of blue and I'd put that in my uh, favorites, right? I'd bookmark it and just have it handy. So anytime I've got my laptop out, if, if I come across somebody that could really benefit from the service, I pop this thing up, I put their zip code in, I click that orange button that says find my benefits, boom, all this, this assessment pops up, answer a few questions, in just a couple of minutes time, you can change somebody's life. I mean, I think about a time when we went out to a gentleman's house to write a decent policy, and he literally was living in under a sheet of plastic and some two by fours behind a detached garage and his at his friend's house, you know, and that was an eye opener, right? We helped him get enrolled in the DSNP and he picked up all those benefits. But more importantly, we got this benefits checkup tool out in just a few minutes. I was able to give this gentleman a lot of information about where he could go for housing and utility assistance and food assistance. And by the way, the guy was a veteran and he was in a powered wheelchair that was on its last leg and he had sustained some injuries, you know, fighting for my freedom. So I was just thrilled to be able to give this gentleman some resources that he could go and make his life better. We checked back in a couple of weeks and he indeed had taken advantage of so many of the programs that we gave him that day. He had housing, he had utility assistance, he was going to some VA services. We were able to really um, change this man's life just spending a few minutes in this benefits checkup tool and you'll have that opportunity to do the same. And it's it's a, it's a great thing. And so if we think about how you can use it then to, to leverage your, your, your business, right? There's a lot of these folks that you see on the screen that they have these questions that come up in their practice, disability lawyers, CPAs, real estate professionals, property and casualty agents, you know, if it's, it, listen, if it's like it was in my house, man, we had a state farm insurance agent, his name was Jim Frank, and his, his magnet was up on our fridge. Anytime we had a question, we asked Jim, because if Jim didn't know the answer, he knew where to get it. So how awesome would it be if you could partner with some of these folks you see on the screen to be able to provide this service? What if you went to a property and casualty agent's office once one day a week, and, and he set up benefits checkup appointments for you, and you partnered on, in a cross-referral relationship, or a CPA, or um, you know, some, some of the folks, and I get it, a lot of CPAs aren't working with the lower income individuals, but you'd be surprised how many people's clients have friends, relatives, neighbors, parents, um, that, that disabled children that need the service. And so there's lots of um, ways for you to use this tool to partner up with folks to grow your business, right? And that's part of what we're here talking about today. How can we grow our decent business and income? And if we take this uh, tool out to where people live, eat, play, pray, and get services, those are the places where we have to put ourselves in front of decent eligible um, individuals, right? And if you're out there doing table events at flea markets, senior buildings, senior centers, places of worship, all those places, you can use this tool, tool as a great vehicle, a great door opener. And so we hope you'll take a look at it, try it out, um, and um, you know, utilize this thing. Look at look at what it can bring to you. Lots of good stuff. Okay. And again, I mentioned that one of the ways that you can get to it, uh, a one-stop shop we've got for you. It's called our Think Agent platform. And for those of you that haven't had a chance to get um, migrated over to the Think Agent platform for enrollment purposes, for lead management, for benefits checkup, for checking eligibility on DSNP, which is super important, right? Um, I highly encourage you. To, to make that transition because our old tool called Ascend is going away at the end of the month. In fact, we only have eight or what, nine more days left on that tool. And then that thing is gonna be switched off, right? It's sunsetting. And so if you haven't had a chance to get familiar with ThinkAgent yet, it can, you can get it in two ways. You can either download an app on any of your smart devices through either one of the app stores, Android or Apple store and, uh, you know, you can have it in that way, or you can also get a direct link um, 
for your laptop, right? And it's this link right here at the bottom. Um, I'm sorry, this is the training link, but there's, there'll be a link that you can get. Now, um, if you haven't had a chance to get trained on this yet, you can see, see here in March, we have some national training still left. We, I know we're getting, getting along here. We've got four more left till the end of the month. There's one on the 23rd, the 25th, 28th, and 30th. And so if you go to this link here on the bottom of the slide um, at, at MedicaidAgentTraining.com, you'll be able to put in your state um, where you're at, and it'll show you where all the training classes, and you can enroll in one. And you could either either enroll in one of these national training courses that you see here, or there'll be some local training classes that your local broker manager will be um, providing to you. So it's super important um, to be sure that you get a chance to um, get familiar with the with the Think Agent tool. Um, and, and, and I don't have enough time today to go into all the details of it, but one of the things that's super important to DSNP, right? When you, you click into the enrollment section um, or the find a plan section, these two sections right here, you're gonna have the ability to put in some quick information and find out if somebody's eligible for a DSNP plan or not. It's gonna give you the MSP category that they qualify for, you know, the good old uh, full benefit dual eligible, the, Slim B plus, Quim B plus, Quim B, all those good things. And then it'll let you know whether in that particular state you can enroll um, in that particular uh, plan. And you'll go to this resource tab here at the bottom and you'll be able to check the code that pops up in the system against the state and know whether to proceed with a DSNP enrollment or know whether you should pivot over to an MAPD enrollment based on their eligibility. So great tool for you to have in your box. Think agent, if you haven't had a chance to um, get familiar with it, um, yeah, please do. Jason, what would you add to the Think Agent uh, opportunity from your perspective? Uh, for those of you that do use Ascend today, um, I would I would tell you now that this is much more user friendly than Ascend. Um, I, I've been part of rollouts with Ascend with uh, another carrier, and a lot of agents were you know, frustrated, uh, again, new technology sometimes, again, is uh, hard to use until you start using it. This one is actually very, very simple right from the get-go. Excuse me. So if it's if you do online enrollments today, you are going to find that this is probably an easier tool to use than what you are currently using. For those of you that don't use online enrollments today, and I get, I get it. There are still a lot of agents that love paper. Eventually, uh, again, I think you're going to see more and more of, of the carriers go away with paper, and everything is going to end up online at some point. So, uh, again, this is a great tool to get started on because, again, it's very, very user friendly. Great call out. So be sure if you haven't done it yet, take some time, get in there today, and sign up for one of those available slots coming up. And and download the app to your phone or your iPad or whatever uh, it is that you use. And let's get you going on Think Agent. There's just so much there for you that'll help you. And it, and it's very into Once you get rolling on it, it's second nature. And as Jason said, a lot easier to use than even the SM tool. Um, okay. The third tool we want to talk about real quick is the Medicare Marketing Studio tool. For those of you that haven't been in our Medicare Marketing Studio, that's where we put all of our lead generating flyers and things for you. There's direct mail opportunities in there. There's lead generation flyers. There's pop-up banners. There's informative prospect flyers. And all of these can be customized with your name and contact information. And one of the things that I, I think is really uh, helpful in there is the benefits checkup um, flyer that you can go in there. And as I mentioned earlier, when we think about DSNF, man, we got to take it to the streets, don't we? We got to we we can do mailers or calls all 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 day long, um, but we're not going to get a hold of these folks in general. Their addresses have changed many times since they went in the database. They're they're just they just hard. It's very difficult to reach them, right? So we have to go where they are. Remember the slide I talked about earlier. We have to go where they eat, play, pray, get services, live, all that good stuff, right? And so when, when we want to get into the doors of those places, if we can walk in and lead with this flyer about a service that we can provide benefits checkup on the front end, um, that's a great way to get an administrator of one of these facilities or buildings to invite you to come on in. They say, well, yeah, if you're going to do all this for our members and help them find resources for these things, 
um, then sure, come on in. We'd love to have you come in and set up a table event or, um, you know, visit with us about this. And by the way, as you're doing this, you can get a permission to contact form and go back and see them later, give them a DSNP flyer. And, and all of those flyers that I'm referencing are available in this Medicare Marketing Studio uh, portal. So be able to log in and version these for your um, for yourself. You can order them on there. You know, there's uh, or you can also just get a PDF ready and take it down to your local Kinkos and print some of these off, or maybe you have another other vendor. But these are great tools in your box to be able to go out and promote either through mailers or through um, through through in the through the flyers, right? And you can put these flyers up in places. They go up great on bulletin boards. You can hand them out. You can, this is a mailer that you see on the screen. If you want to do a little targeted mailing and some decent specific zip codes, you want to take these out to a retail event you're working. There's just tons of utilities for this, as well as tons of things in there for DSNP. We're always adding new stuff in there all the time. So if you haven't been in there, especially since AUP, we've added a ton of new stuff. Take a moment and go in there. And this is the link that you see. Again, it'll be in the slides that we send out or take a quick picture of it. Save it to your desk, save it to your favorites and, and utilize that uh, Medicare Marketing Studio as a place to go in. Jason, what would you add to the Medicare Marketing Studio tool and why it might be important to use, utilize that thing? Again, I think we all use different marketing pieces. Again, this is a one-stop shop where everything is available based on the market that you're looking for. Um, it, it, again, it, it just makes it easier for you to get the flyers and or um, different promo items, things like that that you need right in one shop. I, I will say, again, if you go in and you're trying to pull up any certain material and you have any kind of an issue, there have been glitches again just being open there's been glitches here and there where a broker will go in and put in their zip code and for some reason the wrong data shows up if you should come across something like that again you have mine and russ's email you'll have or you should know your local broker manager as well please make sure that they're aware of that so we can update it and fix it, it could be just something as simple as your profile is not set up properly but we always want to stay on top of those things and and make sure that again it's it's for ease of use and you don't get frustrated when you kind of go in and if something's not there that you're looking for so um just keep that in mind again as you're using that if you see any issues just to let us know so we can make sure we get those things fixed yeah, thanks Russ. Good, good call out jason that's important um we don't want anybody getting frustrated by the tools here we're trying to put in your box we're a phone call away your broker manager's phone call away we're all here to help because um, we know there's only three reasons you write us, right? You write us because we've got good good benefits, and we're about to talk about those, right? You write us because we have good network, and you write us because we're easy to do business with. And we're, we're smart enough to know if we fall down in any of those three areas, uh, we're, we're going to have a hard time staying at the front of your portfolio. So um, anything we can do to remove barriers or help you, that's that's what we're about. So um, to, that P, to that point, let's talk about, again, we've mentioned this wonderful opportunity. Uh, and all of these states you see here on the screen. Um, well, what is that opportunity? What are the benefits, Russ? What do you, what do you folks, um, what are you folks doing? And so, um, you know, there's a lot here to unpack. And in the time we have left, we won't be able to go state by state by state. But what we will be able to do is kind of point out um, some general information for you on our benefits and some of the things that we've done for 2022. Um, we've, we've really enhanced. Um, these what we call our VBIT or LIS benefits um, for this year and, and some of the highlights you see there on the screen for 2022 is we've gone to zero copays on all drugs tiers one through five in all states except Virginia okay that's the only state where we don't have that and it has to do with a, a platform that the state of Virginia sits on and that we work with we'd love to be able to offer this in the future but for now Virginia, you'd still be on the LIS uh, level, you know, so if it's $1.25 or $3.80 or whatever it is, it's still a very low cost drugs. But for all the other states where you, you think about the number of drugs that are people on that are people on in the other 26 states, you get a zero copay for tiers one through five is an awesome thing. Also, um, fall prevention, 
um, being added in. We've added healthy food cards to many of our plans, so the grocery cards that I know you're hearing about from some of the other competitors as well. The social needs benefit, the PAPA program where it's companions to come over and utility cards. Lots going on there. And this is where you can see we've got these four packages, and you can see in the 62 decent plans that we have out there, um, 39 have package two, that's our, our largest, so the drugs, the fall prevention, and the healthy food cards. Package three adds not only those items, but the PAPA program, and then package four, 12, 12 plans, has all that you see there on the screen. Um, so we have a, a large number of plans out there that have these fairly comprehensive benefits, and um, I just think it's important that, that we, we call it out and we get a little bit more granular with that. Um, before I move into that granular stuff, Jason, any comment you might have about what we've done to sharpen our pencil for these benefits for this year? No, again, I think, you know, again, dental, which I think we'll talk about a little bit is, is key. Um, you know, the zero copay on the drugs, which Russ, again, highlighted, is a huge, huge benefit. I know for us, it doesn't seem like a lot, but to a senior that's even taking three or four meds, even at $1.20 a piece can add up for them. Um, so I think, again, we need to highlight that all meds, tiers one through five, would actually be at zero cost. All right. Yeah, and, and again, the fall prevention allowance that's on many of our plans, I think that's really important. Um, that's just a dollar amount that you can order these things. Um, and and uh, and you don't have to go through a care manager or any of those kind of things um, to access these benefits. You can just you'll be able to order these things um, right away. Um, the healthy food card, obviously, that's um, important to be able to buy those groceries and help ends meet each month. Um, it's you know it's it's reusable um, on the first of every month. It is a use it or lose a benefit. So if you do have folks in that benefit, it doesn't carry over. They need to go ahead and use that. But um, and then this pop up benefit is something that uh, more and more people are are starting to utilize. Where it's you know a college student or somebody comes over to the house, spends time doing some things. It's more about companionship and and. You know, some of that. There's they do errand assistance, help with technology, some household chores, but they're really mostly there to be additive and, and help combat the loneliness that goes on for our seniors, right? And so um, I think that's important to, to 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 call out. And then utilities, who doesn't need help with utilities, right? That, things are expensive. And so for those markets that have utility carts built in, when you think about getting help with water, electricity, sewage, gas. And these plans are available in, in, in our plans, really in Florida, Michigan, and Pennsylvania mostly, but, but you'll, you'll notice that as you go through. Now, I wanna point out this next section of the slide because I'm aware of the time, um, but I do wanna just walk you through a couple of these states so that you can see how these benefits are set up and you're gonna get this deck, right? So you'll be able to go through and granularly really spend time and study these because you're gonna find out that we have um, you know, about 10 or 11 slides per market. And so what are these slides going to show you? Well, first of all, it's going to let you know what counties Aetna is involved in in a particular state. So you can see there in Alabama, we've, um, you know, we, we did quite a bit of expansion. The, the light purple is where we were last year. The dark purple is where we expanded this year. Um, you'll be able to see that visually. Pictures are always great, aren't they? And then you can look at the benefits. You got the medical benefits up top here. Those are pretty standard. Your, if your cost share protected, you know, those are going to be at zero, aren't they? But when you start getting down into some of these other benefits um, what, that you see down here at the bottom, when you got the food card and the dental at $3,000. And let me just say a word or two about our dental. Our dental is first dollar coverage, right? And it's up to the total amount. There are not quantity limits in, involved. So it's, it's like, not like someone's going to tell you, well, you need three root canals to get your mouth ready for dentures. Uh, you can only get one. No, you can get the full $3,000 on root canals if you needed to, or $5,000 or whatever that dollar amount is. And you'll notice those are high dollar amounts. Really the only codes that aren't covered on those plans is cosmetic kinds of things. You know, even dentures are included, implants, those kind of things are, are included. Now, again, we're, look at each state's benefits, 
but you're going to find that that first dollar coverage and often you're using the Aetna Commercial Dental Network. There's only a couple of states where that's an exception. Out in California, we use Liberty Dental. And in New Jersey and Virginia, we use a, a network called DentiQuest because it's aligned with the Medicaid dental network. But in most markets, you will find it's the Aetna Commercial Dental Plan. And what's awesome about that is we reimburse at commercial level rates. So dentists aren't like, oh, we don't want to take that because we will get paid less. No, you get paid the full commercial dental rate. And they have those codes in their current Aetna commercial contract. So you've got a really awesome network of dentists. You've got first dollar coverage. You don't have a lot of limitations on codes and quantities and those kind of things. And so um, you really have to, the devil's always in the details, isn't it? So when you look at a carrier's dental, you want to understand how's that 3000 or 4000 or $5,000 in a lot of cases work uh, truly. And, and that, and I think you'll find it to be very flexible and helpful to you um, and the member most importantly, right? So when we look at the vision and the over-the-counter transportation, hearing aids, there's just tons here for you. And you'll notice that every one of the states, and they're in alphabetical order, by the way, it'll show you what is the opportunity. Here's all the counties. We looked at the benefits. Uh, and how many eligibles does that mean? So we give you 125,127 reasons why to sell these SNP in um, the Alabama area, right? And, and and so there's and here's all the different, you know, why. Why DSNP in Alabama? What is it so great about it as DSNP compared to others, right? One of the things I want to call out here, you see in the middle of the slide, is the, um, the, the local care management team. I think that is an awesome value-added benefit within the benefit. And not all carriers do this. And what I mean is every single enrollee in our Aetna DSNP plan is assigned to a care manager a care management team, not just a care manager. And the care, care management team is made up of a nurse. It's made up of a care manager assistant. There's a social worker on the team and there's a care advocate on the team. That's important to the members so they can access care and get the things that they need, help with those social determinants of health, all those things that are in the benefits checkup tool, right? But it's also helpful to you because one of the biggest things that we hear from our brokers is, gosh, we like writing decent, but there's a ton of service work for us. Well, you've got this team of folks that's a phone call away that you can refer people to and get them connected with this local team to take care of these things. That takes the work off your plate. The other thing that they do is the care advocate on the team keeps track of their Medicaid eligibility. And if their Medicaid eligibility, for whatever reason, would go away, they go to work to get it reinstated. It's best for the member, right, to have it reinstated. Maybe they didn't fill out some kind of form. Maybe it was a temporary income increase. Whatever it is, they go to work to get it reinstated as soon as possible. Um, that that, that, get, that allows the member to stay on your book of business, right? It allows them to stay in our roles and it allows them to continue to get the benefits, which is the most important part of all that, right? But how great is it to have a carrier working for you behind the scenes to do those two things to help keep some of the, the service work down off your plate so you can go out and grow your business, right? There's all, all kinds of other reasons why it's a, a great idea to consider moving that to the front of your portfolio, right? And then each, you'll find in these sets of slides, who's eligible, what categories? Well, in Alabama, all of them, all of them, all the categories are available. Look at that, Quimby, Quimby Plus, Sunday, Sunday Plus, QI, QDWI, and full benefit bill eligible. Now, it's important to remember if you're getting somebody on one of the non-cost share protected MSPs, which includes um, Slim B, QI, QDWI, those three, right? They could have some cost share out of pocket. So you just have to, that's where it's, you want to make sure to compare what those cost shares are versus what other zero premium HMO plans might be in the area. Because for those three categories, maybe they would want to look at those plans. But for the others, Quim B, Quim B Plus, Slim B Plus, full benefit dual eligible, there is no cost share, right? They're cost share protected. And so this could be a great uh, opportunity for them. Now, in each one of these state-specific slide decks that you're going to receive, you're going to get the information on the state-specific Medicaid guidelines. This is an actual picture of the website where they need to go. You can counter people all the time that might qualify for Medicaid. And once they do, then they become eligible for a DSIP, and that's an SCP for you. So we wanted to provide you the way in which a person can check to see if they qualify for Medicaid they're not already on it. We know there's lots of people out there that um, 
I just haven't had a chance to do that or even learn about it or know what it is. So we have to be continuous, continually be educating folks. Okay, and then there's more and more and more here in these slides. Okay, and it's all here for you. You can get into the details of each benefit. You even have the contact numbers for all the vendors built in here that we use. Um, all that good stuff, right? And so you'll see there's Arkansas, and it just goes right on down through. And again, in the interest of time, and needing to turn this back over to John for a few minutes, um, I don't want to, you know, I won't go through each each set of slides, but just know. You'll see a divider in this deck where you can go through each of these these um, these markets, and you can take a look at exactly what we're offering, exactly where we're offering it at, and exactly who we're offering it to. Right, so you you can look in the Think Agent and make sure it aligns. Jason, I'm going to turn it over to you for a minute to any comments you want to make about these benefit slides and anything that jumps to mind to share with the group before we um, wrap up and turn it back over to John here for a few minutes. Sure. Thanks. Just, I, again, I, I I think, you know, for those of you that are writing DSNIP, a lot of this just makes sense. Uh, for those of you that currently don't write DSNIP, this may seem sometimes a little overwhelming. Um, it's not, it's, it's a lot more information than it is confusion. I would say just think about when you first started writing Medicare, how crazy Medicare seemed. The DSNIP is kind of the same way. Once you know it and understand it, it's it's very simple. Uh, if you're not currently writing DSNP, um, because of that, you should learn it. It is, again, a great quiver to have in your, um, or excuse me, it's a, it's a, another arrow in your quiver, uh, because you will come across people that qualify for DSNPs the longer you keep uh, in this business. So it is something you should at least know about, um, even if it's not going to be your primary uh, source of business, you should be aware uh, you never want to turn someone away just because you don't understand certain things that they may or may not qualify for. Yeah, that's that's a great call out, Jason. And there's a lot to unpack. And we realize here in, in an hour's time, it can be difficult to get through everything. So one of the things I want to point out to you is in your markets, right? Your broker managers in whatever markets, uh, whatever states you work in, they do these DSNP deep dive trainings um, they're in that same link that we talked about earlier that's got the agent training link where you sign up for the Think Agent training. You can also learn about other trainings, DSNP market specific trainings, um, benefits checkup trainings. Uh, all of these things are listed there and please sign up for some of those and, and, and help get those tools firmly planted in your box so you can go out and use them. And then this deck will be available to you as a resource library so that you know exactly what's being offered in all these different states across the country. So we appreciate the time that you've given us today to kind of tell the Aetna story and talk about some of the tools and, and things that we have for you to help you grow out and go out and grow your income. Um, we know that we know this. We know you're the front line. We know you're the folks that sit down at the kitchen table in the community at the table events. Um, and, and to help this population. And again, I want to thank you for your efforts in doing that. When I think about the gentleman that lived in the, the lean-to underneath the plastic and two-by-fours that we were able to utilize these benefits and these tools to change his life, I know you're doing that, doing that same thing each and every day. And, and as a person that spent a lot of years working with people with disabilities and spent some time on the other side of the desk, I can't tell you how much I appreciate and having advocates like you that would go out and make people's lives better. With that said, John, we thank you for your time. Jason and I thank you for the time today, and I'll turn it back over to you for some closing comments. I appreciate that, Russ. <clears throat> thank you and Jason for your help. Quick uh, overview on some of the questions that popped up. You covered them all through the course of the presentation, but I do want to reiterate the fact that today's presentation has been recorded, and the links that were discussed are going to come to you as part of the follow-up um, to make certain that we have all the detail delivered to you, delivered to you. And I thank you for that. I'm going to pull control back really quickly. Finish with just a few slides on our part. <clears throat> That's why you want to do that with us here at Premier Marketing. I offer these programs, uh, the Aetna portfolio, particularly the DSNP offerings that are located across the country, as you'll see uh, a bit today, and as you will see in some of the reference material coming up. You do have access to the Assurance Bay program or platform through our organization where you can create your agent profile and contract with organizations 
electronically. For right now, we're gonna send you a direct electronic link to do that, however, to speed the process. You also have access to discounted errors and admissions for qualified agents. What's e and Well, it's your malpractice insurance, so to speak. What's a qualified agent? You got a contract with us. A bit different than adding you to a blanket e and policy for one program or another. This is something you owe. It's uh, or you own, I should say, out of your pocket at a discounted rate that satisfies the requirement that you have for this coverage from the different insurance con uh, companies with whom you contract. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be through Premier. You got a discount if you're working with our carriers, a bit more for all carriers wherever you contract. So a great opportunity to make certain that you cover yourself uh, in that fashion. We also offer discounted continuing education bundles through our relationship with WebCE and a way for you to add to your own benefit package through a modified guarantee issue DI program, disability income program for yourself on which you're paid a commission. And much as where today's presentation has been recorded or is being recorded, past presentations have been as well. As I mentioned earlier, uh, these links are found on our website and on our YouTube channel. Um, but this also includes details, not just the carriers or particular programs that are offered within the industry in a category, but different marketing techniques to get in front of the people that you need to in order to offer these programs. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention our Medicare Center program, which is, boy, and this is tough for an old MA guy to say, free, uh, where you have a single login for three different quoting engines. You can send out those side-by-side -side comparisons after collecting that scope of appointment through multiple methods and make certain that you compliantly at least uh, store it for that 10-year period, whether you sell them or not. You have a CRM uh, that's available through this system as well, in addition to different learning center resources that include sales scripts, other things that can be helpful in, in your sales activity. Uh, while MA and PDP programs do not allow for additional incentives, basically because the max comp is set by the government, other programs do, and those incentives may help you qualify for carrier trips and premier incentive programs as well. We think this is important enough information to create a page on our website just for this information so you're aware of all the compensation that you're due. We do help put you in front of folks as well. A custom call list is available to you at lower no or no cost to you, depending upon your contracting or relationship with us. Put it up against do not call. You can use it for programs in which that is compliant, not compliant for Medicare Advantage and PDP programs. Uh, we wanna make certain, however, that you can use it for other means that you might have for other product portfolio. When we speak of community-based marketing programs, these are presentations that are laid out for you to help make your retail marketing experience a more successful and more profitable one. Also ways of reaching into the faith-based community and provider marketing as well. So different pieces that come to you there, those are recorded in, in those libraries that I mentioned earlier. Carriers do generate prospects upon occasion, mostly in the MA and PDP world. However, that's a symbiotic relationship. You gotta know your agent manager with the different carriers. You gotta work with them and they'll work with you as well. We do have internet leads and direct mail support as well, and a T65 locator, and a really cool program to help make certain that you're maximizing the value of each lead through a referrals systems process. That direct mail is a deeply discounted program based on production. Two of them come into play, one for health programs and one for final expense. So you can qualify for it twice within a month. And we do so through preferred lead vendors, where we vet not only their systems, but the correspondence they send out to make certain that you get those leads as quickly as possible, but also do so in a compliant fashion. You do also have access to a direct mail response program where the costs will vary by type, by area, and by time of year. It's a law of supply and demand, but it's a great way to fill any holes in your schedule and also to use this as a means for a continuous ways of reaching out to the population that we wish to address. Those internet lead programs, well, they are through Facebook and there's a program for final expense and for Medicare leads as well. 
The Medicare leads focus mostly on com a one-on-one basis or med subs in order to make certain that we can keep this compliant for you. At T65 locator, it's downloadable upon your smartphone, you register for, they're gonna verify that you have a, a contract with us and much like JJ Walker says, and it's hard for me to say even now, it's free. It gives you physical locations of folks based on the demographics that you enter into the system. Now that referral program that I mentioned, it's not only important to use during the sales process, but also to engage your Bob, your book of business on an ongoing basis. That's where that CRM within Medicare Center can be very, very helpful for you. So you can stay in touch with your prospects and clients and generate leads through that process. We do all this because we want your business. We're asking for your business. And we particularly want to partner with you in your efforts to offer the Aetna dual special needs programs. And we thank you for that opportunity. It's something that we'll, we feel is a crucial part of your overall personal marketing plan. Fairly simple to enter into the system. However, it's like John Wayne said in the movie, The Cowboys, slap a piece of bacon between that biscuit and saddle up, let's ride, we're burning daylight. Let's get it in play now. So all said and done, checking one more time for questions. We seem to be good there. Uh, watch for the follow-up that will be sent to you. Realize too that the, the uh, recording will be posted on those sites that I mentioned, our website, on our YouTube channel, and that your marketer within Premier Marketing will have that detail as well. All that said and done, much as what, oops, pop, question popped up. The relationship between Premier and Aetna, we are one of the contracted organizations that enable you to access these programs on a national basis. We're all 50 states, so it doesn't matter where you are located or where you're licensed to market. Um, that's the deal. That's just the way it works. Um, all the other portion of this, I, I think we're finally down to the part where I, I thank you. I thank you for the investment of your time with us here today. Uh, we feel the information is very helpful to you, but we do realize it's an investment of your time, and I thank you for that. For those of you that have worked with Premier in the fact and have done business with us, I thank you for that relationship. For those of you considering us, I thank you for that as well. And until we're able to visit again, I want to thank uh, Russ and Jason for their participation today and you for your participation as well. And until we're able to visit, I wish you good selling. Thanks so very much. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you, guys.